The Square Mobile Payments SDK allows you to take in-person payments directly within your mobile app by connecting with Square hardware like the Square Reader or Square Stand. This is the SDK for building self-order kiosks, apps that accept countertop payments, or apps that accept payments out in the field. It's all possible with the Mobile Payments SDK. The SDK is currently available for both iOS and Android, and today I'm going to tell you all about what the SDK can do and how you can get started. When you integrate with the Mobile Payments SDK, you'll be able to embed a Square checkout flow directly into your mobile app. That checkout flow allows you to take payments with Square hardware. One of the coolest things about the Mobile Payments SDK is that it's integrated with our Payments API, which means you get all of the new Payments API features right out of the box. That includes the ability to collect app fees, delay the capture of a payment, accept Square gift cards with partial payment authorization, and a whole lot more. In a similar vein, the Mobile Payments SDK also integrates with the Orders API. That means your in-person payments can be attached to an order ID, which enables you to support itemized receipts. We know that hardware is hard, and you can never be sure of the conditions that your app is going to be running in. Your app could be used anywhere from a coffee shop with great Wi-Fi to a field out in a rural area with spotty coverage. No matter where your app is running, you want to be sure that you can always take a payment. For that reason, the Mobile Payments SDK supports offline payments, so your app can keep taking payments even if it loses internet connection. The SDK also comes with a built-in reader manager, which gives you visibility into the health and status of the Square hardware that your app is connected to. You can see everything from battery level to serial number, so you can quickly troubleshoot any issues you experience. To get started with the Mobile Payments SDK, there are just a few steps you'll need to follow. First, you'll have to install and configure the SDK in your app. Next, you'll have to authorize the SDK with an OAuth access token. After that, you can pair your card reader, and once that's complete, you can start taking payments. All of these steps are explained in detail with code samples in the Mobile Payments SDK docs, which we'll have linked in the description. So go on and check those out and have fun building.